how did all this start? And you know, I honestly don't think I've ever shared with anybody like how I've gotten to where I'm at, really where it all started. And I'm gonna share these three things with you I learned. They banished me, never to be seen To a place where the air is always filled with screams So hot that the land only grows weeds Hey guys, so this morning I'm heading into work and I was thinking, man, I want to share a little bit of my past with you guys, kind of really where I started, where I'm at now. Now you see where we're at today. We got a nine figure business. We're crushing it. We're killing it. And we generate 150 million views every 30 days on social media. Things are crazy. You know, we've got millions of people that are paying clients that are amazing. And man, how did all this start? And you know, I honestly don't think I've ever shared with anybody like how I've gotten to where I'm at, really where it all started. So this morning I said, hey, on the way to work, I'm gonna share some things with you guys. Number one, I'm gonna share three things with you and they're all important, but number three is probably the most important of all of them that really changed my life. But I wanna start with, before I share these three things, in 2019, I was a W-2 employee, okay? That means I worked for someone else, which is totally fine. I was the best at what I did. I was crushing it, I was killing it, I was happy. One day, I had a conversation with my wife and she was like, Andy, I think that you're made for more. Anytime you hear that, you know, if I've been doing something since I'm 18 and I was 39 years old, I thought, well, like what do you, like, what do you mean? And she goes, well, you're really good at sales. Like that's what you're good at, you're really good at sales. And I was like, okay, um, but what does that mean? And she says, maybe, maybe it's time to teach other people how to sell. She's like, listen, when you were 18 years old, when you were 25 years old, you know, you were probably looking for someone that was good at sales that could mentor you and teach you. She's like, why can't you be that for all these guys and gals? You know, like, why couldn't you do this for them? And I remember thinking, I'm like, man, that's like a dream, right? Like a unicorn, like a, I get, like I always dreamed of like helping people. I want to tell you guys, any, anybody watching this, you guys can do whatever you want. I hope to be the inspiration. I'm living proof that you can do that. And I kind of want to tell you what I did. So um, there's this training course in 2019 I bought. And I want you to remember this, okay? And it's funny, if you go to YouTube, you'll see when they released it. It was called the Broker Blueprint. I want you to write that down, Broker Blueprint. And it was 2019 and it was with Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins. And Dean Graciosi is one of the greatest infomercial salespeople of all time. Uh, he was partnering at that time with, teen, uh, with Tony Robbins, which he still is today. and. And then obviously there's the Godfather, there was Tony Robbins. And I remember watching and I was like, as I was watching this YouTube video, I was like, dude, man, I wanna be like these guys. And they were telling, they're like, I know, and it's so crazy, my wife just had this conversation with me. They're like, I know that you know something that other people need to know. The question is, how do you teach it, right? Like, how do you build a curriculum? Um, how do you get yourself out there? How do you build a business? Guys, I'm gonna tell you, when it came to automotive, I was the best at what I did. I totally believe I was one of the top 1% in the entire world. But this was a whole new industry. Guys, Andy Elliott, listen, if you're interested in real estate investing, I've got the Hustle Summit. It's gonna be June 1st. It's gonna be in Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know where I live. Now this event's gonna be one day. It's gonna be super simple. I've got a boy in mind, his name's Eric Klein. He's built about four eight-figure businesses, and right now he's teaching people how to do wholesale real estate and make a hundred grand a month. You guys just text the number below and I'll get you information on the tickets. I'd love to get close to you. I will be here. I'll meet all of you. I'll be speaking to you. Text the number below. I'll get you the information. Let's kill it. And by the way, when you're doing something new, it's easy to lose unless you have a good teacher, unless you have a good coach. And they explained in this coach, in this coaching program, the broker blueprint that they would coach and teach me how to do all this. Now, the cost of the training was $3,000. And, you know, I hadn't really self-developed a lot to that point. I mean, I had bought things here and there, but this would be the highest, most uh, expensive thing I'd ever paid at one time for something. And I'd made a lot of money. I just honestly, no one ever really taught me to work harder on myself than I did on my job. They told me to work hard on my job. My wife said, hey Andy, if, if you'll do the training, if you'll study it, if you'll become a student and learn it, I'm totally good with you spending the money. So I did, spent the $3,000, I bought the training course. And oh my gosh, I remember, and I'm gonna share these three things with you I learned. And this was in the first module. And I was watching it and I was like, this is gonna change everything for me. So number one, the first thing that I learned is that your actions follow your thoughts, right? Where your mind goes, your energy flows, right? Like crappy thoughts, crappy life. 
Now listen, we all know that, right? But I'm gonna be honest with you, in the car business, you know, I can have crappy thoughts. I can have a negative mindset. I was so good at what I did though, that even if I was in a bad mood, I could still do it. This was gonna be a whole new journey. This was gonna be a time where I needed to learn more. I needed to do more. So I had to really get my mindset right. I wanna tell you this, your thoughts are your responsibility. And what you think about is what you become. And I remember when Tony Robbins was talking about, you have to master your thoughts. You know, like, is what you're thinking the truth? or is it a lie? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I would go around all day long and I would be really good to other people, but I wasn't very good to me. I really wasn't, man. I wasn't very good to me. I mean, I would go build other people up, I would motivate other people, but then I would be really shitty to myself. And so like step one, like, and by the way, number three that I'm gonna give you is crazy, so stick around for that. But, but this one was a big one to me because I learned that you'll never out earn your own self-worth. That means whatever you think you're worth is exactly what you'll earn. And by the way, if you don't like yourself, you're not good to yourself, you can't be good to anybody else and you can't give someone else what you don't have. So if you don't love who you are, you can't give love to someone else. I started thinking about these things and I was like, man, what is my thought system? And I thought, oh my God, dude, like 80% of my thoughts every day are negative. And yeah, this is me. And right now, 100% of my thoughts every day are positive. I don't let crap come in my head. But at this point, I did a self-assessment on me and I realized that I needed to change my mindset. The very first thing that I did changed everything. Guys, the second thing that I learned is you gotta have a clear vision. I'm gonna tell you, I see a lot of people, the reason why they don't go any certain direction is because they don't know where they're going. They literally don't have a vision where they, where they wanna go. So as I was watching the broker blueprint, the second thing that I was focusing on was like, man, I need to know exactly where I wanna go, right? So if I'm gonna get out of this industry, if I'm gonna do something else, I need to know exactly what I wanna do and I need to know why I wanna do it. So number one, like being a great father to my three beautiful kids, being a great husband, right? And I wanted my kids to choose me as their hero, right? I want my wife to admire me. I want her to look up to me. I wanted, you know, one day I was gonna have a team again. I wanted them to be proud of me. I wanted to be a strong leader. So my vision, I, I, I couldn't tack it viciously unless I knew exactly what I wanted. So I thought like, how am I gonna get there? And then who's gonna get me there? And then literally the broker blueprint, the how was taught to me. And then the who was Tony and Dean. And as I started learning it, all I had to do now was have my why. And what was my why? My why was my family. My why, honestly, I told my wife when I was younger, I said, man, I wanna be a preacher. You know, I wanna change people's lives. I wanna help people. And I was like, my ministry was always to change people's lives. I had this vision and it became super clear that I literally wanted to change millions of people's lives. And I wanted to talk to me that were my old self. You know, my mom left when I was two, five brothers and sisters, pretty crap show growing up, made bad grades in school, never paid attention. Dad said, get a job, stay out of jail, right? 18 years old, I got in sales, it changed my life. Now listen, I didn't have a a lot of good leaders, but I made good money. So I thought, man, I wanted to be this leader that taught people to raise their standards, to be a high form of human excellence, to teach them to be financially free, but also to be free in their mind, which was the first thing that I talked to you about. Guys, having a vision and understanding how to execute your, your vision is probably one of the greatest things that a person can do, especially in entrepreneurship. I ask a lot of people, I say, hey, what does success mean to you? People say, I want to be successful. And I'm like, what does that mean to you? And a lot of them can't even answer it. So they taught me how to have a vision. And that alone changed everything. Okay guys, and then the number three thing that I learned, and this is probably my favorite at all, and if you don't follow me, but you just take this little piece of advice, it'll change your life forever. And if you do follow me, you'll understand why I've been winning now. You're gonna see what I do. So it's two words, be present. Now, it's pretty easy to just read those two words, but there's this thing called regret, and there's this thing called worry. Now, I wanna explain this to you. Now, this is what I learned in number, this is number three, it's most important. This is where all your money is, is paid for. This is where your time really all comes back. This right here, if you can master this, this is where you beat everybody. You beat 99% of the people right here, you kill regret, and you literally smoke worry, right? Where it's not a part of your life, if you can just be present. Can I ask you a question? What can you control? Where you're currently at? There's this thing that I always say, be where your feet are. What does that mean? Where am I at right now? But right now I'm with you and all I'm doing is thinking about all of you guys and I'm thinking about the life that you're going to build, the future you're going to have and who you're going to become and the legacies you're going to change. That's all I'm thinking about right now. When I'm at the gym, I'm only thinking about being at the gym. The gym's a sacred place. I'm not thinking about being at home. I'm not thinking about being at work. I'm not thinking about doing anything else. I'm at the gym. Whenever I'm at home, I'm not thinking about being at work. See, a lot of people when they're at work, they're thinking about being at home and when they're at home, they're thinking about being at work. They're never really where they are. That's the reason why nothing ever happens. Does that make sense? Be present. Listen, worry, worry 
is thinking about things in the future and 99% of them will probably never happen. And that worry creates unneeded stress so that you can't do what you're doing now at a high level, so you must be present. Regret, you can't change the past. Listen guys, I don't care about how many times you've screwed up, how shamed you are about something you did, doesn't matter. First of all, listen, I'm gonna ask you a question. Is that you, is that really who you are? I already know you answered no. So if that's not who you are, why should it even matter? You know, Tony Robbins, since we're talking about Tony Robbins, his mentor was a guy named Jim Rohn. Now Jim Rohn said, it doesn't matter about who you are, it matters about who you're becoming that matters. So if you screwed up in the past, just like me, guess what? Don't regret it, just move forward. Don't let any of that stuff take up space in your head or your heart. You only have so much real estate in your heart. You only have so much real estate in your mind. Those are the two greatest things God ever gave you. So we have no room for regret. So we must be present, which means what we're doing now, we must have to be here while we're doing it. You must be consciously paying attention where you're at. Give everything you got, empty the tank every freaking day and be present and be intense on what you're doing now. So there's different buckets. Family, when you're with your family, be present. When you're at work, be present. When you're at the gym, be present. Whatever you're doing, just be there while you're there. Be where your feet are. And then, worry in the future? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a little secret. If you listen to what I said now, which is number three, if you'll really be where you are, if you'll give everything you got to where you currently are right now, you'll never worry about anything because what you're doing now will make a difference so that in the future, only good things are gonna happen. That's just the way it works. So paying attention to these three things, when I started training on the Broker Blueprint with Tony and Dean, these are the first three things that I learned that helped me change my life. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.